percent. Well, joining us for more on that is Casper Wolski from Big Securities. Good morning, Casper. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, certainly taking a look at that uh, inflation figure, expecting yeah. a rise of around 1.7 percent. Of course, we also have Glenn Stevens speaking today. Um, take us through what your expectations are for that number. Uh, yeah, well, I think as you as you just mentioned, um, the the 1.7 percent uh, headline figure is what is expected. Uh, the RBA looks at the trimmed mean figure, which is expected to come at, come through at about 2.1 percent uh, year on year which is uh, certainly toward the lower band of that uh, um, of the the RBA target band uh, which which obviously leaves the door uh, open to, to some future rate cuts um, so if if we did happen to see a, a rogue figure particularly on the downside uh, it will be interesting to to uh, to hear what uh, Glenn Stephen has has to say about that um, I think uh, you know there's there's going to be a, probably a Q&A session uh, following following his speech, um, and there'll be some talk about that CPI figure. Um, you know, also about yes, uh, yesterday's um, uh, minutes that were released. Um, but importantly, I think um, with uh, APRA coming out earlier in the week, uh, talking about uh, those those. The, the additional capital required by by the major banks to uh, to be held against uh, home lo home loans. I think um, I think Glenn Stevens is going to have a bit to say about that. He's been talking for months now about uh, how macroprudential measures are going to be imposed um, to manage those property market risks in this in this low interest rate environment. Um, you know, and given the the major banks may seek to uh, recoup some of those additional capital costs through higher uh, lending rates, um, I think that may further uh, open the door for some uh, additional rate cuts later this year. So Casper, you mentioned their app are announcing those higher risk weightings on the major banks' mortgages. How does, um, how does that impact their bonds? Uh, so, so the, the banks will be looking to raise additional equity or retain additional equity. Um, you know, um, by the time these measures are imposed in July next year, uh, what's, what that's going to do is, um, you know, basically uh, give the bank a bit of a buffer against any uptick in, in the default of loans. Um, but that buffer is also going to serve bondholders, so there's going to be a bit more equity sitting under bondholders, um, you know, to, to absorb any losses. Uh, in, you know, in, in uh, should there be any uptick in, in defaults. Uh, the credit ratings agency S&P came out earlier this week uh, expecting uh, a one not credit rating uh, upgrade for any subordinated and hybrid securities um, you know, throughout the implementation of those measures. Casper, certainly I suppose looking at bond markets overall, a lot of the um, volatility in Chinese markets has calmed down, a lot of the uncertainty in Greece are also calming down somewhat. Um, how has this all affected um, bond markets? Yeah, so we've seen uh, we've seen volatility probably pick up in the commodity sector, sector, um, and and we've seen some conservative money outflow from there. Um, that's looking for a home, and and coincidentally, you know, things have calmed down in Greece, and and uh, volatility has um, you know in the investment grade space has um, has calmed down, um, and we've seen volat uh, liquidity return to the market. Um, what we like to look at is uh, is the ITREX index, which is effectively a measure of um, investment grade uh, debt returns over the risk free rate uh, and that's that's now returned to a, a level of about 91 basis points which is about the six month average uh, we saw that about 15 basis points higher uh, over the last few weeks you know at the height of this Greek uh, Greek financial uh, situation so uh, you know we're seeing uh, you know, we're seeing money flow back into back into quality. So we've seen this theme of uh, you know a flight to quality start to emerge. Fantastic, Casper. On that note, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you.